Hey, hello everybody, Ash here from Watching Wolford, and today we're going to talk about the recently revealed news that there will be a conversion therapy storyline for Hollyoaks, like, for, like, esteemed character. John Paul McQueen will go into the, like, kids, and it will cover something that I predicted to be a cult, but has actually turned out to be, it's kind of a cult. It kind of really is a cult, it's a bit of a cult. This involves John Paul and Carter Shepard, and later, apparently, Dylan and uh, Lucas, so Dylan, Mizba's nephew, and Lucas Stee's son. Um, so, obviously, it was a bit, it was, it was looked at in the trailer a little bit. We saw John Paul go into, like, a support group, and he was all being hugged, and it's like, this is a bit weird. This is a little bit, like, I it was just a little bit strange. I didn't really know what to make of it. Um, in thinking about, like, how they were going to do this, I thought about it like, okay, if there is a cult, maybe it'll make more sense. But then I thought, actually, his name's Carter Shepherd, And, you know, the shepherd leads the flock. I'm not sure if that's smart or stupid. But, you know, easily a clue. I don't really get those very often. I'm not very observant. Observant? Observant. But, yes, so let's go into the press release on Digital Spy as of the 22nd of September 2023. Hollyoaks to explore dangers of conversion therapy in long-running new storyline. Immediate ones to just look at there. Long running. E. I suppose I'll, I'll get into the information of the articles and then I'll get into my general thoughts about it because if you can't tell, it's not as welcome. Essentially saying, Hollyoaks will explore the danger of conversion therapy in a long-running new storyline for John Paul McQueen. Producers have now confirmed the reason Hollyoaks high teacher Carter Shepard has taken interest in John Paul is because he wants him to recruit he wants to recruit him into a support group advocating so-called conversion for LGBTQIA plus people. Um so conversion therapy is where you is where some people are sent in order to try and make them believe that their sexuality is invalid. It's like, ah, oh, I'm going to convert you into being straight. You like men now. But it is ultimately just a real task of, um... It's ultimately a way to just really demean their identity and completely, like, destroy any, like, sense of themselves. It's like, it's, it's a part in the shame and the, like, in like the the cycle you know where they're trying to like belittle you and make you believe that your sexuality isn't valid it's a horror it's a horrific thing um obviously there's been like very popular movies about conversion therapy um one of the famous ones is but i'm a cheerleader or something like that it has a uh, nikki from orange is a new black um as the main lead um but yeah essentially following on from the hollyoaks irl documentary on this topic I didn't actually watch this, I'll be honest. Um, there's seemingly going to be a new one. Um, but I haven't actually seen it. Um, a dramatic adaption will begin with Carter holding self-growth sessions for select students. It's only in time that Carter's sinister intentions for these sessions will co become clear. In recent episodes of the show, we've seen some like posters where it's like, ah, oh, self-improvement. Like, we, you know, you, you're gonna you're gonna get better. It's free. It's therapy. Mm. The storyline will ultimately expand to involve Hollyoaks High students Dylan Ray, and uh, Mizba's nephew, and Steve Hutt and Steve Hay's son Lucas A. Steve has his own experience from being by the alt right. Uh, in the past, like a couple of years ago, Steve was groomed to be a member of the alt right uh, with Sid Sumner's dad and Johnny Baxter. I don't remember if it's his act, the actor name or in general, but that storyline where Steve had lost everything and then. You know, the alt-right, like, kind of became this, like, ah, oh, yes, but, you know, the, his, these people are why my problems are happening. Um, Hollyoaks writers and producers have collaborated with, uh, you know, just uh, uh, Josh Parry, someone who has worked, like, doing undercover work, which exposed a practice of this in a church in Liverpool, um, and essentially goes through, you know, um... Elsewise, it's something that's not necessarily... They don't really go through two more. Uh, they, uh, they're talking about saying, There are established characters in the recent arrival of Carter. We will look at, the, at this devastating practice and the various insidious forms it can hide behind. 
Hollyox is well known for never shying away from a subject that is agenda setting and can help educate and inform and has a history of successfully telling difficult important stories. Um, okay, so eh, I already have a lot of reservations about this storyline as a whole. My main issue is it was only so long ago that we had the Eric Foster incel storyline. And that one did kind of lead to, you know, Eric trying to brainwash Mason, trying to brainwash Charlie. He was only in it last year and only left in May. But now we're going for another, like, another, another storyline where we're now going to try to brainwash John Paul, Dylan, Lucas. We're going to make them... I appreciate that the story needs to be told because it's an important issue. But the Eric stuff only just finished up in May of this year. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm usually very positive and ready to embrace all of the new possible things that we're going to see. But it's just really... I get that you want the headlines, you want people to talk about it, you want to be the first that covers this sort of story, and, you know, Hollyoaks does do that in the past. They did it with the Eric storyline, which wasn't really thought about much. Um, it was a good storyline, it definitely deserved more awards than it had. Um, but... <sighs> it feels like it's too soon, it feels like it's a very questionable decision. Um... And ultimately, I'm just quite underwhelmed by this. Um, like, I don't know. I didn't really know how it was going to go. You can obviously see, like, signs of Carter being very, like, insidious. Very, like, oh, I'll, I'll fix you, you know. And, ah. Uh, I don't know, man. I'm really uncertain about this storyline. Obviously, I believe that all the actors are capable of doing a fantastic job. Clearly, it's the reason why they recast Lucas, you know, brought in Dylan as well. We're going to explore this stuff. There'll be a lot of very happy things that will come from this storyline. You know, like, absolute, like, pigsty of shit. You know, like, John Paul do a great job. Carter seems to play a very... Carter doesn't necessarily fit in, so it makes sense that he'll try make people conform to his belief of what is the norm we've seen him like take snipes at people for coming across as gay and you know he's known to be religious like it's a uh... I will wait with bated breath um excuse me I will wait with bated breath to figure out how well it'll be and you know me at this point if you don't at this point I usually let I usually give things the necessary time before deciding that it's just absolute garbage because well ultimately it's a soap all right this is this goes on 300 like what 300 odd episodes a year probably not that much it's at least like 250 like a lot of the a lot of the storylines are slowly drip fed and it's like oh it's like yes give me more <laughs> i don't know what i'm kissing but it's kissing something um but you know like some of these storylines are very slow burn will be long running i don't know how long running that is going to be in in the hollyoaks universe um but they do need to give this story a big amount of justice because obviously we're building to some of these characters becoming much more um disgusted with who they are or how they feel and obviously it's going to build into them probably like shutting it all out and be like yes i'm straight i'm really straight i've never looked at a penis twice oh um but you know and obviously the big moment where they realize that it's okay to be okay and it's perfectly reasonable to have these feelings and then this big i imagine the the big explosive moment will be the time that I assume Dylan and Lucas will kiss, and they'll be like, yeah, they kissed, and then Lucas will be like, no, no, I, I can't be like this, I can't be like you, you disgust me, and then in the end, they'll get together, and it'll be lovely, it'll be wholesome, and the gays will rejoice, as will I. Um, but yeah, it's just, 
it's a very questionable time to do this sort of thing. I know they want to kick off this new era of Hollyoaks with something fairly large, but I think all the acts involved are going to be very good, but it's just a wait and see, and we'll figure out if it's something that needs... It needs the time that it's likely going to be given. Um, but there we are. Um, that's the news that the Carter Shepherd storyline will lead into a conversion therapy. It's... You know, it's not exactly what we thought. We thought a cult. Pretty similar. Pretty similar. Um, and I guess we're going to see how Carter Shepard will turn out to be a villain. Um, but what do you think about it? Um, some of you have talked about this and you agreed with me that he was fairly creepy. We thought that was going to be a cult. But what do you think now with this new development? Tell me in the comment section down below. As always, I love to hear about it and I do love to uh, respond to all the comments. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. I've been Ash from Watching Wolford. This has been a video on the conversion therapy news of Hollyoaks 2023. Um... In the, in the upcoming days, likely tomorrow, I do aim to make a preview of all of the storylines that are going to ramp up this week, um, as this should go out on the Monday. There should be another video coming out where I detail... It's an idea I've had where I've decided that I think it'd be a good idea to make like a casual viewer's guide to like this big stunt week, you know? Um... So, yeah, ultimately, that's what I think. If you like the idea, tell me once again. I do love to hear it from you. It's been so nice to get all these comments of people genuinely excited to share their thoughts on soaps. Because, ultimately, when Piggy pitched this idea to me and went, we should do this, and I went, sure. I didn't expect that I'd be at a point where, at this point, I can now genuinely go in front of the camera, talk about what I think, and people go, yeah, nice, mate, nice. I'm like... Yeah, I did it, boys. I did it. Thank you. So thank you for watching. I've been Ash from Watching Wolford. Make sure to tell me what you think in the comments section down below. But most importantly, look at the dog. I would have made the bed for this video, but he decided to smush it all over the place. So it's not my fault. It's his fault. Uh, say goodbye, Joey. He didn't say anything. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.